Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for another one of our streaming safaris. You're joining me with Cooper Kylie here today. I want to go and give a huge shout out to those who have been visiting us since we are open. So thank you so much for coming in. We love seeing your smiling faces. We are still under phase two guidelines right now, so that does limit people coming in. So if you're unable to travel right now, we totally understand. And if you're able to do any donations, that is still a really, really big help. A few dollars here and there will help feed our animals for a day. And it's a really nice gesture to be able to show that you're still able to support us, even if you can't come in to the game. We do appreciate that. Also, don't forget about Amazon Smile. If you're doing that online shopping, make sure you have us registered as your charity of choice. And we are able to go and benefit from that and you guys still get to go and do your normal thing. Remember though, Amazon Smiles has to be used through a browser. You cannot use it through an Amazon app on your phone. It has to be through the browser. If you have questions about how you can go and change that to make it easy to locate on your phone, you can actually set an icon on your home screen to go to the browser instead of the app every time. Uh, that's what I have done. It makes it really easy. So if you want help with that, just leave a comment down below and I'll show some screenshots. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, it's a billion and two degrees outside right now. So we're gonna keep these fairly short because we are working on uh, a limited time to make sure our phone doesn't overheat. Today, guys, we're gonna be continuing our Plastic Free July and talking about some ways that you can go in and do some fun things in your own uh, off time that still goes in benefits. So today we're actually talking about books. So we're gonna be making a really fun bookmark here today because a great way that you can go and still go and read and do some fun things is to visit your local library, to do book sharing, to go and do a lot of those great things, even just sharing amongst friends. A lot of your friends have really good books, unlike my friends here. They have terrible books. I'm giving her a very weird look. I don't. So you want to tell them what it is? No, I don't. We're going to move on. <laughs> uh, we, we are very particular about what books you read. Not all of us. Um, but those are really good ways. So you guys can go and share these books. So instead of purchasing more, because remember, books have to be shipped, books have to be packaged, books have to be made. And while that's a really great way, we still want to go and support authors for going and giving us these amazing tales. But a really good way to do that is through libraries. Love our local library. Uh, you can also do digital things. But instead of um, going and folding over the like dog ear in your book pages because you're going to be sharing these books making your own bookmark is a great way to go and have that and make sure that those books aren't damaged so it's a really great way to do that let's go ahead and get started don't mind me i need a cheat sheet for this one today because i've honestly never done this one before so i'm going to have my cheat sheet up here so don't mind me so um, today we're going to be starting with some different bookmarks. If you have origami paper at home, absolutely use that. This is actually a bookmark, uh, origami bookmark, but you can also use craft paper and I'll show you how to do that. First question or comment. In case anyone else needs to know, what's the difference between craft paper, or construction paper, or printer paper to origami paper? Origami paper is really, really thin. It's very beautifully made so that the fibers all lay really nice and smoothly. So that when you fold it, it gets these really beautiful crisp lines. Um, it also has beautiful patterns and things like that. So that's a really great way to do that. Most of the paper we just have is um, going to be your regular paper. So also, origami paper is usually always cut square because that's what most of it is. So it's already in these four by four inch. Usually, I think it's four by four, maybe six by six. Uh, but it's in square form, so you just get a nice stack of that. You can get it at any of your local craft stores, uh, but it's just really nice. To do. I'm using this stuff. This Crayola craft paper. It's not. But I'm just gonna go and mark out a quick little four by four. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect because again, we are gonna be going and folding it a little bit. So if it doesn't quite match up, feel free to just trim the edges, guys. your favorite books guys what's your book that you always go to even though you've read it a million times but you still love reading it that's a good one what's yours denise i've read don't shoot the dog and then also ken ramirez's uh animal training we call it the animal training bible yep 
Um, so that's actually a thing about zookeepers that is really important. We are constantly reading. And um, we love reading books for fun, but a lot of times we are working really hard to go and better ourselves. So we actually have a zookeeper book club. We have a zookeeper book group on Facebook. A lot of times it's how to build up your career, how to be a better trainer, how to be a better zookeeper, animal information. So there's a lot of textbooks that we're reading. So while it's not necessarily fun, it's important. And I happen to think it's pretty interesting too. So there's a lot of good stuff in there that when you're reading, it encourages you to keep reading, even though, yep, it's basically reading a textbook book from college. We don't ever really stop that, so um, that's a really fun way to do that. Speaking so. of, what's next week? Oh, yes! Next week, guys, is... Oh, look who joined us. Oh, great! <laughs> it is National Zookeeper Week! Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, National Zookeeper Week is uh, was started way back when. I actually don't know the date that it was started. Um, to go and celebrate zookeepers as a career and to encourage students to look into it. So, I happen to think it's a pretty awesome thing. So, yeah, we'll be talking about that more and what it takes to be a zookeeper. Don't forget we have our Vimeo classes where if you have school groups that need to go and participate, um, so I'm taking my square, I'm folding it into a triangle to start. But yeah, you can go and uh, purchase or rent our Vimeo classes. So that's a great way to learn what it takes to be a zookeeper. I, I pre-recorded that one. But if you want to, you can also schedule a zookeeper live and we'll join your class. Okay, so give a nice crisp line. So really go ahead and fold it. We're going to open it back up and now we're going to do it the other way. Yeah, not the Zuki So I love reading. I usually uh, have a book on me. I usually have a book on my phone. I love audiobooks. Um, I actually get most of my books through my local library. So that's a really fun one. But I like reading the books in the car. I like reading books at home. I like reading books, listening to books as I spin yarn because I'm a cool kid, all of that, yes. What other things can you rent from the library? It's not just limited to books, is it? No, it's not. That's another great way. Let's talk about that. DVDs, CDs, music, magazines are a really great one. Um, a lot of those are also available in digital format. So if you can't go outside right now, or maybe your libraries aren't open to the public right now, you can still support them and they can still support you. You can get amazing movies, you can get all this great music, you can get magazines. Um, a lot of us are starting new crafts at home right now. Goodness knows, I keep trying to garden, it keeps failing miserably. But I have been able to access a lot of great magazines through my local library online. So I just look at those and I get all the local up-to-date subscriptions without having to go and purchase them. So. Okay, so you have your little triangle here. It doesn't matter which one. Remember we did it both ways so you can see our creases here. It doesn't matter which way, but you're going to fold half of it up here and then you're going to take just one of the points and you're going to bring it all the way down. There you go. It looks like a duck mouth. Yeah. All right. Now you're going to take both of these and fold it up. So you're actually kind of making it a square again. Again, remember to give yourself nice crisp lines. It'll make things really easy. A lot of times with origami and folding like this, you end up folding over and refolding things. So by giving yourself nice crisp lines to follow, it's very helpful later on. So we're gonna go and fold that back up. Still leaving this down. Hopefully I can do this right. Denise couldn't. We're folding this, so we're taking this one up this time and going all the way up to the tippy top. And again, so we just went and made a square in a different way. The lions are cheering you on. Yay! There we go. And now you're gonna take your corners and you're gonna fold them in. 
And this will be available on our Facebook for any of you that are like me and then need to go back and yeah. hear that and see that one more time. Okay. So if you don't get it during this live, it will be on our Facebook page so you can go back and see that again. I know that it would take me a couple of uh, times of seeing that. What we can also try and do is uh, take photos of my step by step and I'll show you this. So here you go. Here's your basic bookmark. So what you do is you take your corner of the book that you're reading and you can just go and slide that on. So now you know where you're looking. But we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit cooler because I want to make a lion. Could you attach like googly eyes and no, other decorations yeah, you on it? You can decorate this however you want. If you want to put another piece of paper on the inside to give your guys some teeth or anything like that, feel free to. Let's in fact, I'm going to go and do another one and I'll show you a different one. Let's make a giraffe one next. guys what favorite books what are you reading right now do you have books that you're reading for the summer I actually did have to take um, when I grew up I had to do research reports every year for school my school did not stop in the summertime super cool kid that I was We are not spelling our pellets this week so far. Alright, so again guys, you're going to go and cut out another 4x4 four four square. And again, if you want to go and follow along, feel free to. Okay, so we take it, we fold it up into a triangle. Funny, my absolute favorite book that I have read probably a million times and I still love to keep reading is actually World War Z. That's my favorite book, guys. Pretty weird, but I love it. I'm actually really angry at the movie. It's terrible and it's nothing like the book. Read the book, guys. It's way better. They usually are. They're a little bit more detailed. And it's just, the movie has nothing to do with the book. The book is set afterwards. Oh, yep. I've got nothing. I've never yeah. read the book or seen yeah, the movie. The movie's terrible. But the book is actually set 10 years after. And it's their stories. And I like the stories of people. I did not go and do a good job measuring this. This is not 4x4, four four, so it's going to be a little bit off. But that's okay. We're going to do it anyways, guys. It's all about the imperfections. 
So we did a quilt face. We folded up into a triangle one way. We unfolded it. We folded it up into a triangle the other way. Now bring one of your corners and bring it down all the way to the middle. There you go. So you still have one corner up there. Now we're folding both of these corners in to give yourself kind of like a little square here. yourself like a little envelope. See, you can go and tuck a letter inside there. There we go. Undo these again. Take this corner. So take your corner down and fold it all the way up to the tippy top. You're going to make yourself a diamond this time. I think he sees something outside. He's very observant. What do you think a giraffe's favorite book would be? I know a book that I love and I actually think we should probably read sometime is Giraffes Can't Dance. I think we should read that. That's a pretty good one. So there you go. You go and you tuck your corners in again. There you go. But let's go and decorate this side. So let's go and make ourselves a giraffe. What do giraffes need every time? Ossicone. to NPR. Or listening to NPR. I do both. Because usually I get a lot of good book recommendations from there too. I just finished reading uh, The Pandemic of, the, of uh, 1918 about the Spanish flu. That was really interesting. So I read a lot of fiction, which is not real. I read a lot of non-fiction, which is real. the ossicones there. Beautiful eyelashes, Kylie. Yeah. Giraffes have beautiful eyelashes. So there you go. I have a giraffe on one side. I have a lion on the other. Guys, my artwork, you know this by now, it's never great. It's never anything crazy. It's just for fun. Don't worry about how you go and make your art at home. I promise you it'll be beautiful. You'll use it all the time. That's what's important. So I um, can't wait to see yours by all means. If you guys want to cut out different shapes, you guys can put googly eyes on it. Maybe you want to go and actually make your nose stand out on your giraffe. You can go and use more paper to go and have that stand out. Give your lion a different name. You can go and put a uh, different colored paper on the inside to give them teeth. That would be pretty cool. So I can't wait to go and see them, guys. Tell me what your books are. Show me what they look like on all your favorite books. I want to go and check it out. And this again is a great way to support your local library. Go out, keep reading, get all those books in. Goodness gracious. This is what it's like being next to an airport. It's very fun. So yeah, I really want to go and see it. This is just a fun way to go and keep reading. Uh, but you can go and pass those books along. So even if you have books at home, I know sometimes our bookshelves can get pretty darn full pretty fast. 
So maybe you have a little book exchange in your neighborhood. Um, check it out. There's little free libraries. They might be right on the side of the road within walking distance. Those are really fun ones. So this is a great way you can go and experience books. You guys can use beautiful bookmarks that encourage you to protect the animals that you love. And you get to go and escape to a really cool place at a really hot time of the year. Uh, go ahead, show me what you have. Show me your books. Show me your bookmarks. I can't wait to see them. Now remember guys, if you do want to come and visit, please feel free to. I can't wait to go and see you guys. Just make sure that you are booking online before you come. Things can change too. So always be sure to check out our Facebook page or call us directly if you have any questions before coming in. Because sometimes uh, guidelines can change very quickly. So please, please be aware that sometimes it's beyond our capabilities, but we will try to get the word out as fast as possible. So it's always the best way to go and check. You can also check out our website, which is lionhabitatranch.org. And again, if you can't come and visit, both of those locations also have the option for you to donate. And that's a really to help. We still need help being and feeding our animals. So that's a really great way that you can go and support the animals that you love. You can support us and our cause and help us keep on going. You can donate right here on our Facebook page or again by visiting lionhabitatranch.org. We can't wait to see you again soon guys. Check back for more information and again we'll see you again next time. Bye everyone.